Ola, whatever that means. So what's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail, man. Well, you didn't see the thumbnail. I just put up the title. Um, <clears throat> they want equality in theory, not practice. This is basically because I was listening to Kevin Samuels today on one of the interviews with the young lady. And they got into the feminist, you know, women can do anything men can do. And, you know, if women have the opportunity, they'll do it too. And to me, you know, this has been going on for far too long where ladies need this belief that they can do anything that guys can do. And it's, and it's become a detriment, you know, because it gets in the way of so many other things. And... <clears throat> Like take, for instance, you know, this idea that you want equality, but you want it, you don't want it right now. You know, you don't, you know, the whole high value man thing, you know, you know, the whole high value man thing is because you want a guy who is financially above you and who, who resources, knowledge, practical application, whatever you want to call it. You don't want, you know, you don't want to have to put in the same amount of um, effort and sweat equity that he does, you know. This is what's going on. And this is why I say, you know, you want equality in theory. A lot of ladies don't want to say they, 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 they want equality in theory. You know, but they don't want to, you, you really don't want to get up. Like, you know, it's cold, cold. Like I'm in Texas, it's snowing. You know, you, women don't want to in mass get up and shovel snow. That's not what you want. You know, we you want the idea to say, well, we can do it too. You can do it too. So do it. You have the, the freedom of choice to do it too. So what are you going to do with your freedom of choice? Are you going to do it or not? You know? You know, mm -hmm, I'm good. You know, so you, you want to say, I have the option to do it, but you don't want to say, I am, this is my day to day routine, I have to do it. You know, they want equality in theory. You know, I was watching a uh, part of a synopsis of the uh, Bear Grylls survival type thing, gender war, men against the women. And the guy was was kind of chuckling because, you know, the ladies wouldn't really hunt. They wouldn't, they would forage, they'll pick up, you know, uh, fruits and vegetables and that type of stuff to eat, but they really wouldn't hunt for food. And when I'm thinking about, you know, um, wanting equality, women don't, you know, do women really want to be butchers and, and, and hunters and have slaughterhouses? No, they want to go out for nice meals, but they don't want to. Um, they don't want to kill them, the meat, you know. And I could take this a step further. Do they want to make the plates? No. Do they want to make the tables? No. Do they want to make the 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 the, the, the forks, the knives, the spoons? No. But they want to say, you know, it's a woman somewhere who, who can make a plate, who can make a plate, but does she make plates? You know what I'm saying? You know, to, 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 do you want to make the glass for the restaurant? No. You know, and this is where this, this, this theoretical equality goes wrong, because guys are not trying to be women. Guys are like, if I could do all this stuff a woman could do, see, we're interchangeable. That's not how we get that. But this theoretical, if I could do this, it's like I could, if I do it one time, that means, uh, you know, I'm on the same, you know, um, the same playing field as a man who does this every day of his life. You got to, you, you want to be a, a jack of all trades, man, I did it once, but I'm a master at nothing. And that's not what we're about. You know, it's like you want this stuff in theory, but you don't want it in practice. You don't want it in practice. And this is where it gets a little touchy because, you know, women, well, there are women in the military. How many of these women are on the front lines? 
How many of these women getting shot at? You don't want you don't want to know that number, do you? You know, that that's their actual job and title to go shoot at people and get shot at. That's that's what they do. You know, women don't want to do that in practice. You know, you want to know it's a woman, and, and this is what's bad about it. That's why I say yeah, they want equality in theory. They want to know it's a woman somewhere who exists that can do that, but they don't want to be that woman. You get what I'm saying? Like, they don't want to be that woman. You know, you know I know of a woman in the military who, who's on the front line. You, yeah, okay, so do you want to be an infantry? Okay, I know of a woman who who's who who is a firefighter. Okay, well, you want to be a firefighter? No. Nah, okay, I know of a woman who who's a police officer. So, do you want to be a police officer? Okay, I know of a woman who uh who makes furniture. Okay, so do you want to make furniture? You know, I know of a woman who 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 worked on on helping build a skyscraper. Do you want to work on building a skyscraper? You know, I know of a woman who, who cuts grass. Okay, so do you want to be, uh, have a lawn care business? See, when you ask these questions, it goes from theory, you know, it stays in theory. It doesn't stay in practical application. It just doesn't. So this equality is, 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 is it's a sham. It's a hustle. You know, you know, we, we can do whatever you guys can do. Oh, okay. you better be careful about that. For your own safety. For your own well-being. Now, not because guys are trying to, because 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 here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing about that. Since you want equality. That would mean you would you would want equality in production. You see, one of the things Kevin was talking about is, you know, you you ladies are gonna have to be producers. You're gonna have to produce. And the thing about being a producer is you don't have a lot more leisurely time. You know, you don't. You don't. You're not gonna have time to get your hair done because you got to produce. You don't have time for girls' night because you got to produce. You don't got time to just go get a manicure and go get a pedicure and, you know, go take a long shower or a long bath or go get a massage. No, no, you got to produce. You don't have that time. You, you don't have that type of time. You know, y'all want equality? Okay, well, you want to, how come I, you know, I probably can count on one hand how many women I've seen on a garbage truck in my lifetime. One hand. And the the uh, sewage trucks, um, no hand. I don't, need, I, I don't even need a hand. You know, when you're driving at night, and you see um, construction crews on the road, how often do you see women? You know, how often? Because see, y'all want equality, you know, but you don't want to say you, 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 you there and present. You know, you, you there and present and doing the work. Y'all don't want that kind of equality. Y'all don't, you know, um it, it comes to it comes to to to, to it, it deals with the reality of you said it pastor and thank you you said it <clears throat> you know they want certain privileges with no accountability and inequality and see this is what the ladies don't don't want to talk about you know <laughs> there will be no more domestic violence if you got equality. Mm -mm, that'll just be a fight. 
or, or both of you will get domestic violence charges if you want equality, because you want it in practice. Because if you get into an argument and both of y'all get into a fight because of this argument, that's equality. You shouldn't have said that. Or they shouldn't. You hauled off on them and they hauled back off at you. And now, you know, it's just, hey, bring it up, bring it up. Uh, go get back to your neutral corners. You know, you come, come back for the next round. This is what happens when people want, quote, unquote, equality. And nobody wants to talk about, you know, and the ladies don't want to talk about it in the sense of, oh, my God. Well, you know, that's not what we want. What do y'all want? You know, you, you, you want to have the option to have equality when it suits you? Thank you. When it suits you. See, they want equality in theory, not practice. Because in theory, you know, you keep wanting to prop up the girls. So, so if you want equality, the guy's going to just start propping up the boys. And then we're going to go, well, well, how come you're not making sure the little girls have self-esteem? No, no. Because you're not making sure the boys have quote unquote self esteem, so let's just have this equality. You know, you want, you want, you, this is what you want. You want the women to be put in the forefront, cool. The guy's gonna, you know, put the men in the forefront, the boys in the forefront. What's the big deal? That's equality in practice. You know, this idea that, you know, if you give women the opportunity, we'll do it too. No, you will not. You really think you can find tens of thousands, you know, you think thousands, tens of thousands, or hundreds of thousands of women who are really going to, say, work offshore on an oil rig, um, work on a, on a, on a um, <clears throat> get a Twit card, and, and work, <laughs> you know, on a barge, you know, taking things from, you know, from one side of the the Atlantic Ocean to the other and coming back and doing it. No, you're not finna see, you're not about to see a bunch of women at sea, you know, <clears throat> moving freight. It's not finna happen. It's not about to happen. But ladies act like, oh yeah, you know, you know yeah. we'll do that. You're not about to see a bunch of female truck drivers running around here. You know, that's what you're not finna see. Oh, you know what? She going coast to coast, you know what I mean? Connecticut to California, dropping off loads every day, hitting the road. You know, you don't want that kind of equality. You know, oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to get to that. I, I, I'm going to get to that when I say about the equality part. Matter of fact, I appreciate you for, for doing that. No, I appreciate you for doing that. When you brought up OnlyFans, let's just be honest about this. Women don't want to see men just taking pictures and getting tens and hundreds of thousands of dollars because people just think they fly. Women don't want that kind of equality because that would mean, you know, guys could do seamlessly, you know, put a filter on and just... Oh, he got he look at him. He his page and got you know two hundred thousand you know people on it. Now he got four five million likes, and now he's a social media personality. Because that's let's just be honest. And, and, and you know, even with social media, women have to do far less with content than men. They could just show up. Do you want equality for guys just show up? You know, yeah, guys just show up. Take the picture. Put a filter on that thing. Take the picture. Put a filter on that thing. Put a filter on that thing. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He is, I'm working so hard. So, so hard. Oh, do you know the effort that it takes? Like, yeah. You don't want that kind of equality, do you? But, you know. You want equality? Well, well, you know, <laughs> you know, 
guys could just go around taking breaks like this. You know, let me let me just take a, a break, a vacation, because I'm stressed. You know, see, see, this is where we at. Yeah, man. <laughs> Y'all don't want that type of equality. Y'all don't want that. Y'all don't want that. Y'all want it in theory, not practical application. You know, the young lady was like, you know, in 50 years, lady, if, if you know, 50 years, men should be, um, um, 50, if, if men invested in women for 50 years, we'd be on the same playing field. I'm thinking to myself, okay. So if men taught women everything that men knew for 50 years, how many years would men have off after that? You know, how, how many years would men can, can go without working and contributing to society after that? Because if it takes you 50 years to catch up, you know, you at least two, 3,000 years behind well, you know, we're gonna, it's 2021. We're going to give you 2,000 years. We're going to do AD. You're at least 2,000 years behind. So if in 2000, if from 2021 to 2071, men told women everything to be, to, to run the, a society, run a city, run a country, run a world, whatever, right? Are you saying that women are going to do this for the next 2,021 years after that? We got this. Absolutely not. They ain't gonna sign up for that. They ain't not finna sign up for that. Hey, where the real man at? Where the real man? The real man who gon' who ain't gonna go allow a woman to blah 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 blah. You know. You know. Even with it, like when you talk about the WNBA, the only reason the WNBA is not making money, like the NBA. Is because it's in the infant stage. Like the NBA wasn't making this type of money its first, what, 20 years? People act like the NBA was just, just, just balling ever since. It took to like the 80s, the late 80s, really the early 90s for the, for the salaries and the money being made in the NBA to go through the roof. So that was what, roughly 50, 60 years? You know? 40, say 40, you know. So, you know, the WNBA got to, gotta, you know, they could do, they may be able to do it faster, but, you know, they, they got to pack the house first. They need them, they don't have a Michael Jordan of the WNBA. They don't have a Wilt Chamberlain of the WNBA. They don't have a Bill Russell of the WNBA. They don't have a Jerry West, the Oscar Robinson. You get what I'm saying? They don't have a Walt Frazier or Willis Reed. They don't have that yet. They working on that, you know. <laughs> you know they don't have it until they get it. You know they can't they can't get to a Jordan yet. They they know they don't they don't they're not near. Them. They don't have a Magic and Bird rivalry to go on. They don't have the history to make these rivalries. You know, come along to have somebody else who will come along the top of it. They don't even have that yet. I mean, you know, that's the whole premise of it. And like, yeah, it's not as exciting. It's not as entertaining, you know. And I can and I can say this for a person who, you know, I was in, I was watching the beginning of the WNBA. It's less exciting now than it was twenty years ago. You know, I was I, I watched them the actual the inaugural season when the Comets won. I was here in Houston. Then. You know, um, Tina Thompson, Cheryl Swoops, uh, Cynthia Cooper, Kim Parrott. Now, I like Kim Parrott the best, but they had the, the balling was a little bit more competitive. It was more competitive, and, and people had more character. But this is what I mean. They want equality in theory, not practice. They, they don't, they, they're not creating an image. They don't have too many characters in that league. They don't know what to do yet. You know, but it is what it is. You know, 
the, 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 that's why I said earlier that I don't I don't see garbage truck workers, you know. There's no game, you know. They're not going to be the same athletes. Can put it on the show. You see, a lot of ladies don't want to admit they're not going to put on the show because they don't want to use their femininity to its advantage. But but they want equality. You know, you, know, you, you want equality in theory. You don't want it in practical application. You don't want it in practice. You don't want to be that, you know, you don't want to be the sacrificial lamb of, of, of um, equality. And then and this is the part that ladies seem to forget about. Y'all don't want to be the generation or two or three generations that's the sacrificial lamb for equality. You know, let's be honest. Some people look at um, gender sexism like they do race. Well, let me explain something to y'all. You know, this is Black History Month um, when it comes to equality. And I could do this with any other group, period, but I'm not. But I'm just going to do this with women about wanting equality. Who is your uh, Martin Luther King? Who is your mouth? Who, who are, are you, you know, feminists, the equality people? Who is your Martin Luther King? Who is your Malcolm X? Who is your uh, uh, Mega Evers? Who is your, um, who, who, who is your Elijah Muhammad? Who, who is your Marcus Garvey? I'm saying, like, like, who is your Fred Hampton? Who is your Huey P. New? Who? You know, <laughs> like who? who? Who got killed behind this? Who had? Who made the government go? Oh, oh we don't know how this is gonna work. You know, uh, you want equality? Who got you like this? Who's willing to put it all on the line? You know, they don't have to play in thongs. Y'all, you, you extra, but they, don't, they, but they do have to be more appealing. The one female driver, I don't even remember the name. That's the thing. You know, who is it? Who is it? No, only fan, I thought only fans was thought about a dude that died. I thought it was a guy who, who actually died. That was, that was on that started on the fans, but whatever, whatever. I might be wrong. You know, I don't have my phone on me, so I can't Google it. Well, I could Google it on the other screen, but I'm not going to do it. See, you want equality in theory. Theory. You know, um, when, when Kevin was asking the lady about female inventors, like how many female inventors have there been? She said, name five. She could only name one. So what does that tell you? You know, you don't want to put in the work to create something to benefit society. And the other thing I was thinking about looking at the survivor thing, uh, this gender role stuff is, is ridiculous. Because women don't want to say, you know, man, it takes a lot to do what these guys are doing. You know, it takes a lot. You know, it takes a lot. Uh, the thought thing, you know, if you want to watch me have sex, watch me have sex. But let's see if they can ball. Because they always say they can hoop. If they can hoop. Show me you can hoop. Make it entertaining. You know. You know, if 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 if, if, the, if the ex if they're so good, you should have highlights on a regular basis, like like other sports do when they're in season. The issue, the issue, the issue isn't the issue isn't the sport itself. The issue is the highlights. The highlights bring people to see it. The highlights make people go, oh, I need to see that. I want to see that in person. You know, people wanted to see. I don't even like soccer. People wanted to see Messi. People wanted to see Beckham. People wanted to see Pele. People wanted to see uh, uh, um, the whole all Brazil, not just Pele, like, like Juan Carlos, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho. Um, you know, people wanted to see Cristiano Ronaldo, the other Ronaldo. Like people wanted to see all that. 
because because of the highlights. You know, oh, this is entertaining. People wanted to see Jerry Rice. People wanted to see Joe Montana. People wanted to see Barry Sanders, Deion Sanders. You know, so on. Randy Moss, so on and so forth. You, who is your attraction? People want to see Kobe. You know, people wanted to see Michael Jordan. I gotta see this. And you know, people like people like you gotta remember. People want to see Serena Williams play tennis too. Yeah, you know, you know, for her run, she was fine. She was a thick thing, but but people also wanted to see her because she was so good. I want to see, you know. So when you want equality, you got to be able to fill a house like people, just like the guys do. Just like the guys do. Because it's all about money at the end of the day, right? It's all about what you can do to society. You know? Exactly. You know? What can you do for society? What can you bring to the table that go, oh, you know? Nobody diminishes, uh, um, like when we look at music as equality, right? Nobody can say Beyonce isn't a phenomenal artist. Nobody could say that could, could say that um, Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, Missy Elliott, they got stuff that you, they compete at a high level. They make stuff pop, you know. But the problem is, how often does that come along? You know, that's the issue. That's the issue. How many of those people could do it? You know, how many of those people could do that? Because in theory, you know, how many female record labels did you see? They've had female artists for decades. How many of them had a, had a label? How many of them created a label? How many of them put on artists? How many, how many have, of them have done that? You know what I'm saying? How many? How many women have went into certain STEM businesses? How many women have went into, into the car business? You know, because even black men can say that, that, that black men went to the car business with the Greenville Patterson. You know, racism got in the way, but do you hear anything about women making cars? No. You know, Danica Patrick races cars. Absolutely. I get that. But Danica Patrick doesn't have the same story as what is the, you know, um, what is the brother that, that, that the black man that wound up going to the Hall of Fame and racing who they wouldn't let him win a race because of um, because of racism in the 60s? You know, the, the, the story of him actually went, you know, passing the um, winning and then, and then not um, and then not raising the checkered flag and keeping the laps going until somebody passed him, <laughs> you know. And then when they did that, oh, now this guy won. Like they, they don't have to deal with all of that. Missy, Missy needed Timberland help. Yeah, but Missy could stand on her own. You got to remember, Missy was in a group prior to that. She was in a group prior to that. You know, she was one of the, because you got to remember, Missy Elliott and Timberland are cool because they both came through Jodeci. They were both separate entities in the beginning. They came together later. Thank you, Wendell Scott. You know, thank you. Yeah, this, this is a problem. See, ladies don't want to talk about that. <laughs> Appreciate it, Peanut Butter Hero. Appreciate it. You know, this is where we at. This is where we at with it. Like, if you want, you want equality, but you want it in theory. Do you want equality in the family court system? You really want that? You 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 really you you want to you want to you know. Um, how can I say this? You want five out of ten, you know, five out of ten mothers win custody cases instead of nine out of ten? You want equality in that? No, you don't. You don't want equality in that. You want equality in in the aspect of do you want the you know the 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 men to not pay um, any alimony 
or or you, you, if a woman files for no fault divorce, since you filed for it and, and there is no fault, you should get no money. Irreconcilable differences, okay, you can, you can reconcile that money on your own after the fact. You want equality? You know, you want equality, right? You want equality. Is it because I got power where I'm at, player? Is it my power never went out out here, player? You know. The birthday say, <laughs> you know. People don't know Devontae's a, was thugging it out back in the day. He's slapping fire out of people. But do you want equality in that in practice? No, you don't. No, you don't. There's a law. I'm gonna make a video about this. There's a the, the, two lawmakers in Tennessee are, are, cre are creating are trying to create a law where fathers have the right to stop a mother for uh, from having an abortion. See, that's equality. If it's your, it, 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 he gets he gets the right to choose if the child live live or dies. Also, you want that equality? You want to carry that baby that you don't want because he wanted. And if he has to do that, that will mean he wants the baby more than you, right? And if he wants the baby more than you, right? Then that will mean what? When the baby's born, the baby should be with him, right? Or should you go to jail if you? Make up a reason to get an abortion after the fact, because my body, my choice, blah, blah, blah. Should you go to jail for that? Because you want equality, like I said, in theory. You know what I mean? Like, hold up. Now, I, I said what I got. I said what I said, as they say. So, you know, that go to link if anybody won't come on. But I don't believe that these ladies want equality in practical application. I just don't. Nothing tells me that. Nothing tells me they want their daughters to grow in practical application. You know, nothing tells me that. I want my daughter to grow up and be strong and independent. And you know what? If she got to be a construction worker, building buildings, so be it. That's what she needs to do. I don't, uh, that's not what you want. That's not what you want. Don't lie to yourself. Don't, you can say that, but you don't want them to actually do it. You know, I got you, Twilight. This is what we at with. You know, this is what we at with. Do you really want to be equal in this society? Because guys are not trying to be women, like I said before. We don't want the 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 uh, the, the, the the double standards designated for women. But women want the double standards designated for men. But because the double standards comes with a cost. See, you got to pay that cost. You know, you got to pay that cost. You know, a lot too many ladies and feminists, womanists try to, you know, like it's Black History Month. A lot of Black feminists, a lot of y'all um, like to take what Black men have done in the past and hitch that to the wagon of women because they was Black too. And, you know, this black man did something. So as a woman, you see what black people have done? No, 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 no. That's what black men did. You won't be a feminist. Show me what the black women did. You know, show me what the black women did. Don't, don't, don't tell me what the black what the black men did and you want to take credit for it and turn around and say, down with the patriarchy. Don't do that. You know, no, no, no. You're gonna have to come with something. Appreciate it, black pill. You know. Oh, uh, uh, with that law, you don't need a DNA test. You just can presume that you're the father. So if you wind up getting a DNA test and you are not the father, then she got to have the baby and she got to go down that road with the baby. You don't need a DNA test for that law yet if they put it into practice, you know. The guy just has to take her to court and, and, and make a, and have a motion to make sure that she doesn't, um, you know, so he can you know, to give him the right to stop the abortion because he want to have his quote unquote child. See, this is where we at with it. And I got to ask these questions like, do you really want equality? And I and I'm I'm saying absolutely you don't. You know, all this 
there is an ancient society in Africa and in the Amazon women did this and blah blah blah. Okay. All right. Now with all the civilizations and societies that have been on the planet that you can historically go to, how many have you seen like that? Because they've only been a handful, and I mean a handful, I mean you probably can count them on a hand. <laughs> you know. This is where this is where we, we get it messed up. You there ain't a subdivision in America. There ain't a comp a apartment complex in America. There is there is an a there is an a um, a business district in America. There isn't a strip mall in America built by women. Not one. Not one. But you won't acquire it. You know. You know, well, see, I'm gonna tell you something. The food program wasn't wasn't actually for the women. It was actually for the kids to teach to, to, to as a as a tool for one to get them to keep their health up. But and the tool behind that was if you feed them, you could teach them. So you could teach those kids because you feed them. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so it was all for the kids. You know, to teach the kids what they can do in the future. You know, people don't don't want to ask that question. You know, no, that that law ain't gonna come out because they don't want that. They don't want you know they don't want that type of equality. Right, right. They don't talk about that, fam. You know, but you want equality, so, so be it. Let's get it. Let's get it. In, in practice, not in theory, in practice. You know, a, if anybody movie, remembers the movie G.I. Jane, you will have to have them, you, you know, you got to get, get down like G.I. Jane. You got to go through the SEAL training. Since you really want to be a soldier like that, you know, you know, yeah, if that's the case, like I said, women are gonna have to pay child support too, and we could file for increases. You you want equality, right? You want it, okay? Well, you know, fathers get kids, you know, and fathers want child support. And, and guess what? It goes by the same laws that the men go. So if you make a certain amount of money, and the, the law is the law. The law is the law. So, so, and and now if he go out and he spend the money on whatever he want to do it, because it's my child and it's my money, you, you got to deal with the same, the same scenario. You know, if if that's what you want, you you want equality. You know, you need to get pulled over for, for driving a wild woman, get harassed because you driving a car and a woman, just like brothers get pulled over for driving wild black, right? You want equality? Cool. You got to get that equality too. You know, you got to get equality in sins. You know, there is no oh, if 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 a man commits this crime, he is he does ten years. If a woman commits this crime, she does three years. No, you getting that ten piece. You know, that's what it is. You want equality in, in practice? Cool. No problem. You know, you can't you can't flirt with your teachers to get a better grade when you're in college or in high school. You can't cry your way into a better grade like when you're in college or high school. You know, hey, you want equality? Let's get it. Let's get it. Like when a guy was paying for the day, he said, I believe in equality. You, you know, you pay for your own meal. When you dating, you want equality? Fine. Y'all dating. Y'all both ordering separately. We're gonna have two different checks. You wanna order all that stuff? That's how you live, that's how you eat, that's your business. What you paying for? Just meet me there. I ain't gotta pick me there. Just meet me there. Meet me there, pay for your own food. And if you like the date, cool. We can have another one. If you don't like the date, cool. Go home. You know. Exactly. <laughs> You know, that's a problem. That's a problem. 
You screwed the professor the past go, wow. You know, this is where we at. But y'all want to have equality? Let's have it in practical application. You know, let's have it in practical application where you got to get everything you ask for. You want equality? No problem. How about this? If a man, if you get married to a man, and he cheats on you, he can file for divorce for a reconcilable difference and get half of your stuff. That's equality. That's equality. Because you can do it. So he should have the same right to do it. He should be able to go smash Sharon, come home and say, I'm just tired of this. I'm sick of this. I don't want to do this no more. And since I filed, you owe me. Owe me for all the time that I spent with you, even though I don't like you. Irreconcilable differences. Pay me. Because y'all want equality, you know, let's talk about, you know, the marriage aspect of it. Some of y'all want equality, but y'all y'all don't want y'all family paying for the wedding, though. No. Do you? Do you? Let's talk about this equality. See, you want the man to, to, to uh, to be the husband, the protector, and the provider, and to die for the family, and you know he buy he buy the ring and blah blah. He buys a ring, he gets on one knee, he proposes. But you know what you also want to do? Pay for the wedding. That's what your family's supposed to do. So you want equality? You pay for the ring, you know, and you help pay for the wedding. How they, you know, let's do it how, how it works in practical applications. Because if you're gonna be all fair and balanced, man, I'm gonna propose to you, man. This ring is, you know, two carats, nice little platinum set, blah blah. It costs, I don't know, five stacks or whatever. You know, you said yes. Now fork over this twenty five hundred. Fork it over. You owe me this twenty five. You know what? I sell those shit. You know, oh man, hey man, <laughs> keep working all that way. I was jogging yesterday at the cold, so long. Yeah, I'm still, as I was supposed to go to work today, but they canceled it. So appreciate you. Me and him had these bets, y'all. This is where it's come from. We had these bets, and it's like the Vikings versus the Saints. And normally I'm on the losing end of those bets because somehow the Vikings got the Saints number. But this is how, you know, so appreciate you, man. It's all love. I gotta I gotta find out when Kevin coming to Houston. Matter of fact, man, that you say that, you know, I gotta I gotta I'm gonna holler at him. You know, you know, that's why I get thirty percent. <laughs> you know, you know, tell yeah, salute the solo man, salute. You know, and, oh yeah, you know, and I'm still holding on to that ripple. I told you, district. You know, I got. What, what was, I didn't tell you. I was like Civic and uh, wasn't District. Stella Luna, all of mine been going up ever since I got them, just for the record. That's a little crypto talk for some of y'all who don't understand that, you know. But if you want, you know, you can't pick up Ripple no more, man. You know, you know, you can't pick up Ripple until the SEC thing. If you didn't get Ripple before all of this, you can't get it. You can't buy it now. So it's been going up ever since what, the 19th when they stopped it? So it's, it probably went up like 20 cents a share, 25 cents a share since they uh, which one, since they stopped it, you know. You, you tripping, you tripping. But let's, let's get back on this equality. Yeah, I, I got it around that same time too. I, I, I probably, I might've got a little less than that, you know. I, you know, but it, it was definitely in the 20 cents. I might have got either. I got it at, eh, I might have got it at somewhere between 19 and 23. I don't know which one at the, at the moment, you know. So let, let's talk about this equality shenanigans, you know. Let's talk about this equality. Since you want equality, how come, you know, it's, it's time to kick out some some money? See, a lot of y'all... And I'm glad I forgot to say that. Some of you ladies want to play this game where you want you say you want equality, but you don't want 50-50 relationships. You want equality, but you don't want 50-50 relationships. That's equality, remember? Yeah, you don't do 50-50. 
Well, you got to do 50 50 if you want equality. That's how it's supposed to go. You pay half for the mortgage, you pay half for the bills. You know, man? you know, you pay half for the medical insurance. You know, your, your significant other gonna get half of your retirement, like you trying, you gonna get half of his. That's 50 50. That's equality. But you, you don't want that in practical application. You don't like that. To me, that's some BS. That's, that's a hustle. You know, and this arguing, this arguing, fussing, and fighting is ridiculous. Mennonism. <laughs> Mennonism. You know, but ladies don't want to say, "Oh, I, I want, I want." You know, women can do just just as much as a man can do. You're right. You can pay pay just as much as a man can. How about that? You know, pay just as much as a man can. That's what this is about. Go in your purse the same way a man go in his wallet. Same exact way. We don't want to hit a talk. We don't want to hit nothing. 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 You know, this is where we at with it. If y'all want to play this game, play it all the way. Because guys are, are here to tell you, you know, you could be as equal as you want to be. You know, fix that flat tire, like you said. You know, fix my tire if it go out. You know, the next time I call AAA, it should be a woman coming, you know, in that tow truck. And she should be able to fix my tire. That's what, yeah, you know. It should be women mechanics that you could call, you know, the, the, the mechanics that you, the mobile mechanics that come to your house. I ain't seen a female mobile mechanic a day in my life. You know, I ain't really seen a, a female mechanic a day in my life. I ain't seen a female, I haven't seen a female change oil at a Jiffy Lube or Walmart, you know, a day in my life, but you want equality. I ain't seen a female change a windshield wiper. But you want equality. I ain't seen a female actually working on the floor of, a, you know, when you take your car to get service at the dealership. I ain't seen a woman there. So you want equality, but you ain't, you, you're not in the aspect, in the places that, 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 um, that warrant all this equality needed. Like the power is out for, for some folks out here, you know, and you got to get guys, you know, the, the electricians, the, 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 the to get out and get up, climb these poles and fix all of these uh, transformers. I ain't seen a woman fix a transformer a day in my life. Day in my life. I ain't seen no female lumberjack, but I ain't around that atmosphere. But I ain't see, see a female lumberjack, but you want equality. Equality. Interesting. Yeah, I know. I know. You don't want to do blue collar. I ain't seen one a day in my life. Yeah, yeah, I've seen some female truck drivers. I have. I have. But you got, but this is the this is the kicker. Women outnumber men in society. And women want equality with men in society. But even, even the fact that women outnumber men. Men far outnumber women in, in work that has that has to do with maintaining the the society. You're not gonna you're not gonna that it takes to maintain the society. You know, yeah, never seen a female bricklayer. You know, never seen females laying cement. Never seen females pulling up a house frame. I never seen a female roof. Day in my life. Day in my life, I actually never seen a female electrician or plumber. I, I know you know there's a female plumbing company, you know, but I never seen I never actually seen a female plumber day in my life. I'm you know I'm sure there's a female electrician somewhere out there, but I ain't seen a female electrician a day in my life. A day in my life, but you want all this equality. 
It's interesting, you know. Real talk. I didn't even think about this until I, t- 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 I was just saying that, just j- just thinking about it off the top of my head. I have I never seen a female tailor. I've, I haven't seen a female tailor a day in my life. You know, well, you know, because I think my my great grandmother, she's dead now. She was a seamstress. Take that back. My 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 my, my woman's her mother can can uh, do sew clothes. But I haven't actually seen seen a person in actual action doing it. I haven't like I, I I've never went to a to a shop and seen a woman be able to do this stuff. I mean, that might sound crazy, but I've never seen it. And I'm trying to think about it right now off the top of my head. Because I've gone places where people, women have been at the front counter and they told me how long it was gonna take, but I I'm not too sure if there's one actually doing the work. You know, that's a problem. That's a problem. I've never, you, you ain't never seen, you know, with all the, the products that you see, um, have you ever seen the women on the sugar cane field be eating sugar? Have you ever seen women, um, uh, how can I say this? Picking tobacco and people people talk about us and slavery and stuff about picking cotton. Um, <laughs> huh. This ain't twelve years of slave. No women cobblers. Poor. No. Hold up. Hold up. You know, never seen a woman shoemaker. Actually, to be perfectly honest with you. Like, all the things that you need in society, I'm trying to figure out, you know, how you going to do them. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I, I know they do, but they're my, but that's the point. You know, even, even their population of producers are a minority. They want somebody else to do it for them. This is this is crazy. This is crazy. You know, off the top of my head, I can't think of none of this stuff. I can't. So you know what? Get notes, steel mills, power plants, none of that. None of that. None of it. So you know what? Since I can't come up with nothing, I'm gonna get out of here now. I'm gonna get out of here now because there's, there's no way I could come up with none of this stuff. You know. So catch y'all, folks, later. Like, share, subscribe, or die trying. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace.